I remember filming my first DVD at the Manchester Apollo, and I'm dead excited to be there. There's 3,000 people. I keep seeing, my, I keep seeing these. Uh, I, I, look, I, look, I look out, and there's, you know, whatever, 2,000 people, and my family are in, it's overexcited. And always, you speak to any comic, as you know, no. you will always find the one person, arms folded, <laughs> just giving it that, like... <laughs> Don't want to be there, checking his watch, upset he's missing the Champions League or whatever, is it, what, you know. And he just wouldn't laugh, this guy, at all, and I couldn't get anything out of him. And there's cameras all over the place. And towards the end, he, he giggles at something. I can't remember what it was, but I remember he just did, like, a little... Whatever it was. I, don't know what, I can't remember what it was, but it was just one laugh I got. So a few weeks later, we're in the edit and we're putting the DVD together. And I'm telling the editor about this guy who ruined my night, because I was checking in on him. You know, I, was, I remember, do, I'd do a joke, I'd be like... <laughs> Like, just every time I <laughs> And I'm telling the editor this story about this guy and we're sort of flicking through the audience shots and it cuts to this guy. I said, oh, my God, this is the, this is the guy that, like, ruined my big night because I couldn't... I got obsessed with why he wasn't laughing. And so we watched him for a little bit, just properly in a mood. And as luck would have it, that one laugh that he gave me was caught on camera. And he saw, it was a real begrudging, like... Like, he might have just been laughing at something that happened a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> but in that moment, I thought, oh, my God, we've got it. So the it was the editor's idea, to be fair, but we ran with it. That one laugh that he did on camera, we ended up using 23 times. <laughs> <laughs> so we just keep cutting back to this guy. And my dream, my hope, is that so at some point in the last 12 years, <laughs> he's watching Dave Jarvu at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> my show comes on, he watches it and gets to the end and he thinks to himself, I oh, had a better night than I thought. <laughs> <laughs>